Previously on Flavor of Love. I did not want seasons in our room whatsoever. How old are we? Who does this? She's fake, she's phony, she's not here for Flav. To prove to you that I'm here for you, I'm not going to compete today. You're good with your bookends right there. Y'all stay hang together. <laughs> I'm about to make her shut the up. Your mama dead. Sincere, but I'm disappointed in you. I enjoy getting a rise out of Sincere. Loser! Loser! Maybe Sincere is trying to set you up to get you out. Got it. Thing one, thing two, I'm gonna split y'all up. I don't want my sister to go home. It feels like it's been a funeral. I don't see none of this coming. Just me and you think too. It'll be a little bit harder because she's used to having her sister around, but that's what I'm here for. Night, night, thing two. Night, night, thing three. I have an announcement to make. That tomorrow, I'm gonna meet your parents. But then after that, three young, young ladies will be joining me to a trip to Paris, France. That's right, I'm taking my girls to France, the city of love. It's time for the flavor gram. Waking up this morning, tree's gone, and I'm a little bit more nervous. The competition is really getting serious. Thank God I have thing two here to watch my back. What's cracking? Thing two. <laughs> Since my sister got eliminated, I was just like, I'm battling, like, can I really do this without her? But I still have sincere, so it, it's a good thing to know that someone here has my back. Oh. Here's your flavor gram for today. <clears throat> Ladies, your peeps are on their way and I can't wait to meet them. Each of you pick a bedroom for you and yours and get my crib looking fly because they'll be here in two hours. So the flavor girl lets us know that we have to clean up because our parents are going to be staying with us at the mansion. Let's hope there's no sister Pattersons in the bunch because someone will be going home tomorrow. Love, Flay. Oh, we gotta start cleaning. So we got to work. All right, so I guess we gotta like make up all the beds and stuff. I would think, wouldn't you? Me being the soldier that I am, I decided I was gonna clean up, even though no one from my family can make it out, but I understand. I know that you guys are very private like that, but, well, I didn't know that I was. I don't know if that's gonna play a part in who goes home for eliminations or not. I hope it doesn't, but you never know. It's I gross in there. Foul. The toilet's clogged up because Hot Lana was drunk all the time, getting sick every two seconds, and clogged the toilet up. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> so it's been sitting in there forever. Somebody's gonna have to do it. One of us is gonna have to. Uh, no. It had to be clean. Nobody else was gonna clean it. So we put on these big old long like rubber gloves. Like how? Like what are we supposed to plunge it? You have to plunge it and then clean it. Oh, Operation Clean the <laughs> has officially begun. <laughs> there are no words to describe what I saw. Oh god. <laughs> It was worth it because I wanted my parents to feel comfortable, shower in a clean bathroom. You know, you can smell it outside here from where it was lingering in there for so many days. Hello. Hello. Hi. Come and tell him. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Hi. I'm Big Rick. Hi. This is my favorite place. Personal assistant. Hi, How are you doing, Big Rick? Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Thing two. Your parents are here. Hi. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Piggy. Hi, Daddy. How you doing? Fine. When I seen my mother and father, I was really, really excited and happy for Flav to meet them. Mr. Flavor Flav. Wow. <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you. How are you? How you doing, Mr. Paul? Flavor Flav. 
Glad to meet you. Come on in. Uh, thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Lead the way. Lead the way. You know, I was worried about what thing two's parents was going to think about the names that I gave their daughters. Let me tell y'all something. You know, when I first saw the twins, and you know, I had to give nicknames, right? You know, because I give nicknames to the girls. So that way I can remember their names best because I'm bad with names. Mm -hmm. So when I seen the twins, I'm like, where am I going to get names from? So then I went back to my childhood. One of my favorite books in the world was The Cat in the Hat. The Cat in the Hat. <laughs> my favorite two characters, Thing One and Thing Two. So I looked at these girls and I said, here comes trouble. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I said, so what can cause trouble? Thing One and yeah, Thing Two. Absolutely. So were they trouble? Huh? No, good no, trouble. Not at all. Huh? They were honestly good trouble. The way that my parents and Flavor are interacting couldn't be any more perfect. I think that he's really feeling my parents, and I know that my parents are really feeling him. Make okay, yourselves at home, you. okay? Me too. Mm -hmm. Take them out in the yard, show them around. Okay. okay. All right. Absolutely. Thing two's parents, Brendan Paul. Oh man, this one is gonna be all good. Yes, sir. How you doing? Mr. David. Right, right. How you doing? Right. Sincere, your dad's here. Hey, daddy. I love my dad, but I'm a little nervous because although he's funny, he can be a little blunt. Flavor treat you good, huh? <laughs> he's been treating me good. So I hope that everything goes smooth with him and Flav today. What's up, Flav? Hello, Mr. Flav. <laughs> How you doing? All right. God bless you, man. All right, man. You too. Nice to meet you. So you still know what time it is, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> My first impression of Sincere's dad, Dave. Oh, wow, he was mad, mad cool. I told wow. them I get my personality from you. They think that I act the way I act because I'm drunk all the time, but I'm like, no, I'm just like this. Well, I get my drink on too. So wow. the <laughs> <laughs> what was funny about Dave, I ain't gonna lie, but he was definitely straight up put with it. Yo, can I offer you something to drink, a soda, some juice, or anything, whatever you want. Yeah, I probably uh, grab a bear or something, man, you know? <laughs> yeah. Started right. Aw, oh, man. Homeboy treating you good and everything else? That's one thing I'm going to always do, is treat her good. I had there will never be a bad moment with Flav. It, it ain't going to happen. Yeah, only been a couple of minutes. I'm having a damn ball. OK. <laughs> 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 I'm really excited that Flav and my dad are getting along, and hopefully that'll give me some cool points with Flav. Give me a little shot of that uh, Hennessy, too, while I'm here. <laughs> I love your dad, man. Dave loved to get his eat on, and he loved to get his drink on. And I love a man like that. But I'm going to keep my eye on Dave, because he might end up drinking me out of house and home. <laughs> Hello, Miss Donna. Yes. Big Rick, Mr. Flavor Flay's right hand man. How you doing? Mr. Steve. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's mine, sir. Miss Seasons, your parents are here. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels good to see a familiar face and someone that's in your corner, no matter what happens. Wow. Good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> These are my parents. Oh, this yeah. is Steve. What's up, big man? Hi, Steve. Yeah, my man. Nice to meet you both. My first impression of Season's parents. Sit over here. This is truly interesting. Come sit. <laughs> sit over here. I didn't know if they really liked me or not. Why do you wear a clock so big? <laughs> well, the reason why I wear a clock mainly is because time is the most important element in our life. Can't afford to waste none of it. What are your intentions? What is it that you are planning from this moment? <laughs> forward with our daughter. Right off the bat, my parents come in and they're being parents. How about this? What good can come from this? Out of curiosity. Her pops seemed kind of hard on your man for a minute. And honestly, I had to lay it on the line, yo. You know, I'm not trying to get married or anything yet. I'm not trying to jump into no serious relationships right yet until I really get to know my partner. So what I'm doing is looking for that partner. But you've been share. looking for in how many seasons? How many years? Well, see, let me say this. Have you ever been married? Lady, what's going on in here? Never, ever a day in my life. And how many children do you have? I have seven. seven. You have seven children. And I want one more. With seven children, um, there are women involved or a woman involved. I don't know 
the whole That's... parameters of it. I don't need to know. This is definitely out of control. And your man Flavor Flav is about to go out of his mind right now. And so when you say you have seven children and you've never been married, that kind of scares me. And if you get tired of it and you decide you want to move on, what happens? What happens to our daughter? What is to stop you from saying, OK, let's see how you are physically. And let's get in the bed and let's go for it. And then she gets pregnant. And then you say, oh, it's time to move on. So my mom starts talking about premarital sex. And I'm like, oh, no. I just don't believe that you need to have sex first, first to, to find, find love. love. Have, have sex. sex. She, gets she gets you pregnant. pregnant. She, she gets, gets you pregnant. 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 I want to just slide down to my chair and hide under the table. Coming up. I'm going to make sure that Sincere is not doing anything underhanded towards my daughter. I don't give a damn that you guys are friends. Can you stand on your own? And later. I asked the girls, go around the table and say something nice about each other. Beautiful young lady. I really don't have nothing nice to say. It was you that had the problem. Sincere! Her whole attitude changed. Maybe she isn't the friend that I think she is. I just don't believe that you need to have sex first to find love. And so when you say you're looking for someone and then you say you have seven children and you've never been married, that kind of scares me. Yo, Seasons Moms told me that you can have love without having sex. Uh, yo, that ain't how your man Flav is rolling. Baby, I'm, I, hey, Mom, you know, I'm, but you know what? I love you too much to not ask a question. For every question you have for me, he does have, have an answer. He will have an answer. And it's honest. Right. It's an honest answer. Next woman that I have a child with, I want to settle down with her and I want to marry her. If I can't settle down with this woman and marry this woman, I'm not having no babies with this woman. And that's the truth, and that is my plan. Like I said, he's been nothing but respectful. Look me in my eyes and tell me that. He's been nothing but respectful. My dad's definitely not taking my feelings for Flav seriously. But after talking to Flay for a little while, I could see his mind start to change a little bit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> today I'm going to take Sincere and her dad, Thing 2, and her parents bowling. Why? Because I love bowling. Now, whoever can bowl, bye bye. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm really excited. I just want to see how my parents and Flavor are going to really interact on this date. Yo, even if you got to go like this with the ball a okay. couple of times. Oh, yeah. To get that sweat. OK. And then you just roll that bad okay. boy. There you go. There you go. Ah! Oh, dang! <laughs> Yo, I taught you how to do that. Ah! Oh! <laughs> All right, pimp. <laughs> uh -uh. We had to get one. Yes. I got a feeling we're getting somewhere, folks. Uh oh. Oh, that looks yeah. good. Yeah. Hey, yo, keep <laughs> throwing the ball good, G. Wait. Damn, I missed it. Fizz, man. It's a stepping thing, man. I can't get the steps right. It felt real funny kissing those girls in front of their parents, but their parents didn't seem to mind. <laughs> that was stupid, man. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Yo, my girl thing too was definitely hilarious. She couldn't bowl for She had to bowl like somebody's grandma and aim for the middle arrow. So Sia ran all the way down the lane, threw the ball up into the machine. It still didn't get a strike. I'm starting to see that Thing 2 is my biggest competition, although she is my best friend in the house. I wish I could have been on this date alone with Flav. Since I'm not, I need to start getting his attention any way I can. How you feel? 
Positive. Positive. Anytime two friends go after the same man, it ends up bad. So if I have to, I'm going to push thing two out of the way so I can end up with my man. Well, I want y'all to know that your girls are good while they with me. Now, when they leave me, y'all better stop. <laughs> so after we finished bowling, I had to get back to the mansion because now it's time for me to take Seasons and her parents out and Black is going to tag along. What, no kiss? <laughs> Today, we are going to go miniature golfing. And I ain't gonna lie, this place right here is kind of cool. It had castles, it had little miniature lakes, and it even had a couple of miniature people running around the spot. Come on, Steve. Rock the house, there Steve. <laughs> there you go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the move. So Flav and my dad, they were having a great time together on the golf course, slapping five, cracking jokes, laughing together. Oh, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it! <laughs> oh, that's very rare for my dad, so I think he's won my dad over. Oh, that's it! Yes! Hole in one for seasons with the parents. Yo, Steve, can I get your autograph? <laughs> wow! One of the things that I have to address Mm -hmm. is the fact you came in here with your sister. My mother came and had a conversation with me about me sincere. Then your sister, after Flav decided that he, you know, was too, that was too much for him, as soon as she left, then you two attached. Flav could, could judge, you could get booted out because you can't stand on your own, Trisha. And basically, we don't need to let Flav know or let him think that we depend on each other because it's nothing like that. I don't give a damn, Flav, give a damn that you guys are friends. Can you stand on your own? I'm standing on I know, you, you know feel me. like that, but what does it look like? So I'm walking up the stairs, and I hear Brenda and Thing 2 talking about how this is a competition, and Thing 2 needs to separate herself from me. This is a competition. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that don't lose track of what the real issue is here. Well, we got to the... separate then, and let's just move on. I'm kind of hurt by this. I can't believe what I'm hearing. But I got news for them. If they think they can out-strategize me, they got another thing coming. Game on. Coming up. My mom, you know what I'm saying, she's going through some, some really bad stuff right now. Nobody being here for black, it did kind of concern me. Her attorney told her that it wouldn't be a good idea. Wow. So, you know, and I understood that, you know. It's time right now to get to the bottom of some things. See, my sister said that I was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's why they pay him the big bucks. Yes, That's what I'm talking about. I definitely know now that my dad is feeling Flav, but my mom, I don't know. May you pass me the salad? I'm making a mess. That's OK. Messes were made to make. <laughs> nah, you get down. You get down, Mom. Let's have a good time. Thank okay? you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm, I have to admit, my opinion of you has changed. <laughs> my daughter said, oh, you don't like them. I was like, oh. <laughs> just from, what did I say? Now. Yeah, just interactions. You're OK. You're pretty cool. Thank you, and I appreciate that. I don't consider to be the best in the world, but I'm not the worst. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the worst. Right. It starts to seem like Steve and Donna, Season's parents, are starting to like me a little more. And I like them, too. Wow. Hey, you know what? You're black. Let me talk to you for a second. Can y'all see this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. sure. Nobody being here for black, it did kind of concern me. So I decided it's time right now to get to the bottom of some things. Why couldn't you get somebody here? What's going on? Well, my mom. You know what I'm saying? She's going through some, some really bad stuff right now, a custody battle. She was going to come out here. Her attorney um, told her that it wouldn't be a good idea. 
Wow. So, you know, and I understood that. You know, I would Me definitely too. wouldn't want that to happen. And my grandparents, like, they're very old. Even though her parents wasn't here, I ain't gonna lie. I was still really feeling black. Black was kind of hot. Fly. Serious conversation over there. Good luck with tonight. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please come on down to the dining room to have dinner with Mr. Flavor Flav. I want to see if I can get drunk. <laughs> I don't think I can get drunk. Just take a little bit. It'll knock me over. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I had a big family dinner set up for all of us. Good Thank God. We get to have a civilized dinner finally in this house. You dressed to kill you. <laughs> Honestly, to tell you the truth, I just came out of a green Easter egg. <laughs> I just want to say that I had a lovely opportunity to meet your parents. And I had everybody set in a place, and I had a place set for me, and there was an empty chair next to me. And I had a very special guest coming through. So now, I want y'all to meet mine. Yo, ma! That's all right. <laughs> That's right. That extra guest happened to be my mom, Anna Drayton. I was super taken by surprise. I had no idea that his mother was going to join us. And it was just a breath of fresh air. Everybody, I want you all to meet my mother, Miss Anna Drayton. Hello. Flay look just like his mom. <laughs> exactly like his mom. I guess he don't like his dad. <laughs> I want to make a toast. <laughs> OK. <laughs> this toast goes out to my mom. Thank you, mom, for having me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I toast to. You know, since Sarah's dad really isn't into anything that's going on until Flav said, let's make a toast. And he realizes, ah, liquor's involved. Let me wake my ass up and get me a free cup of champagne. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, to me, this is funny. Hope that it's funny to the rest of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the twins, they had to be about three, maybe four years old. One sister came over there and told me, she said, my sister said that I was ugly. <laughs> So, <laughs> I said, well, you go back and tell your sister she looks just like you. <laughs> so, <laughs> if she's calling you ugly, she's calling herself ugly. <laughs> I'm sitting at the table listening to Think Too's Father. It's making me sick because everyone's enjoying it, especially Flav and his mom. At this point, I just want them the hell out of here. Black. Is this your first time around this many blacks? <laughs> uh, Flavor, I think you're cool. You're going to do what you're going to do. My daughter's going to do what she's going to do. And whatever happens, going to happen. I think it's going to be a Flavor Fall. <laughs> I think you're all wasting your time. Uh, a couple of months from now, Flavor got tired of them. Just like he does us at 30, 40, 50, 60 before the Oh my God, this couldn't be any worse right now. My father is offending people because he's been drinking a little too much and Flav's mother is sitting right there. I hope this doesn't affect Flav's opinion of me. Now y'all taking it a little bit too serious. I'm gonna get my drink on. Everything's too serious for me. I'm, you say you wanna be honest, I'm honest with it. I'm not looking for no future son-in-laws or too many more grandkids, none of that. That's all I really got to say. Let's eat this. If it's easy for us to sit here and talk about you or talk about you, the more difficult thing is to say somebody that you have been clawing it out with, because I'm sure you all have been at some point or another, uh, to find the best quality in that individual and acknowledge that. I would like to hear the girls speak out. You know, I mean, we've been doing our thing. I decided to give them a chance to go around the table and say something nice about each other. Well, I'll go. 
I actually haven't had any problems or any issues with any of the ladies here. I think you guys are all very lovely, and I'm glad I've had the opportunity to get to know you all. I think you, Seasons, you're very intelligent. You have a lot of class. I definitely feel like I'm the only classy lady left in the house. Like, that's apparent. Thing two, um, beautiful young lady. Your parents, lovely. Um, I can see you do come from a wonderful background. She's trying to look all innocent in front of her parents. She could fool them, but she can't fool us. Me and Sarah, of course, we've gone back and forth the most out of everybody in the house. Um, but I can respect the fact that, you, you know, you have your two beautiful children um, and you're out here taking a chance and, you know, I'm sure you miss them like crazy, but you're going after your heart. After what Thing 2 and her mother said, this dinner is every woman for herself. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Uh, seasons! You know, um, I do think you're a pretty girl. Um, I know that we've had our beef and to be honest, I tried to silently squash it. You know, you, you'd see me go around you and, and I won't say anything, but it's like I feel like it was you that had the problem of letting it go more than me. We were supposed to say something nice about each other, but of course, she found a way to say something just jacked up. That's why I always felt like you were trying to attack me. I definitely intended to give Seasons a backhanded compliment. I'm not fake and I'm not gonna say something nice if I don't mean it. Thing two, I'll be nice. I, I mean, I don't have, um, you know. <sighs> Sincere! I always say if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. Okay, now what's up? Her whole attitude change, the energy, the vibe, it's not there. <sighs> Thing too. I felt that it was really strange that Sincere didn't really step up for me. She's sincere. She said one thing out of her mouth, but sincere action showed something totally different. Maybe she isn't the friend that I think she is. Coming up. I just don't think that she's a strong enough woman for you. You think I'm following you though, Sincere? I I'm weak, I, I gotta need a crutch. I can't stand on my own. You serious? At this point, I think that our friendship is over. No, I know, I never said that. that. You scandalous, Sincere. I didn't come here for thing two, I came here for Flav. We're having dinner with Flav and his mom, and each of us have to say something nice about the other girls in the house. Thing two, um, she's sincere. <laughs> I want to say something so bad to trash thing two, but I don't want to make myself look bad in front of the parents. I'm going to keep my cool, because I got bigger plans ahead of me. Get That's you? a good place to look. <laughs> 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 After dinner, I decided to move everybody in the bar area for dessert. Mom, how you feel, Mom? Flav's mom, I think she's really quiet at first, but then when she comes out, she comes out strong. You know, sometimes you'll meet someone and your spirit doesn't agree with them. Mm -hmm. Everyone in this room this evening, my spirit agree with. And from the way you've been conversating, I'm gathering that my spirit agree with you. Mm -hmm. If you're not the selected one, I don't know, maybe it's thank God that you weren't. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> the only thing I can say that to the one that will be selected, you are all winners. I want you to know you are all winners. I think that I made a really good impression on this mother for dinner. I did have kind of like semi-booty shorts on, so I hope she wasn't looking too hard in my outfit. <laughs> So you can say goodbye to everybody. Everybody can say goodbye to my goodbye, mom. Right. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Very nice right. to meet you. And howsoever, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> hey, your mom. Yes. I love you, bud. And I love you too. Now it was time for me to excuse the parents from my house, and I had to tell them to go home because now I had a very, very important decision to make. Somebody had to go tonight because tonight is elimination. Before eliminations, I decided to grab Flav because I have a little trick up my sleeve to make sure that I don't get sent home tonight. People take me in. Thing two's company, you know, our little friendship, what you might have it, it's like that we're dependent on each other. Who depends on who? Sorry, Thing Two, but you didn't leave me any choice. 
in a sense, it's like she is dependent. Just don't think that she's a strong enough woman for you. I don't think that she's proved that she's strong enough. Do you know what I'm saying? Who, who do you feel that she's Me. strong? Why? <laughs> Flav needs to know how weak Thing 2 is. She depended on her sister and now me. She is not strong enough to stand on her own. Yo, sincere, good luck with eliminations tonight. Thank you, Flav. So after talking to Sincere, I had to meet with Thing 2 because I was very, very disappointed at the information that I got from Sincere. She said that she don't seem like... She feels that you're not really ready to stand on your own, too. Like, it's more like you're the follower, you know what I mean? Just, there's, come on now. No, man, no. Nah. Mm -mm. So she's basically filling Flay's mind with all kind of It's straight cutthroat. Because she just straight slandered me. I don't really know what to think because all I know is Thing 2 relied on her sister, Thing 1, a lot. So what she gonna do with us, Flay? That's what I'm gonna do. This is your clock. He brought up my... <laughs> Time is up, all right? Okay. You know what I want you to do? What? Get ready for elimination. I will. At this point, I'm pissed off. So I decide to go up there and confront that <laughs> Dog, you a faulty ass <laughs> on me. You, you scandalous and here. What is you <laughs> call me? What cool on your ass. Everybody was telling me about your ass. Stay away from sincere that foul. I see what everybody talking about. That's how you just gonna stab me in the back. You think I I'm following you? I didn't you? stab you. I didn't say you followed me. You think I'm following you, you though, didn't sincere? Say you follow me. I didn't say you follow me. Serious though, you fuck. I, I need to follow you. Come, on, don't, don't be tight-lipped about now, homie. This is what you said. And he asked me, you seem like you, you've depended on your sister. And he felt like you came to me because he made it seem like you're the one who needed because you have a twin, because you came in here to get it. So he felt that by your sister leaving that you came and clinged on to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what you say? I trusted you. I never backstabbed you. I never said nothing to you behind your back that I wouldn't say in your face. She backstabbed me. So what was all that about, Sincere? And I trusted your ass, though. The only thing I said is, well, she did have her twin. You've always had somebody in your life. You have, Thing 2. At this point, I think that our friendship is over. Unfortunately, I didn't come here for Thing 2. I came here for Flav. We're not cool. Don't have nothing to I, do with okay. Flav. Nothing. And that's how it okay. is. Keep my name out your mouth. Coming up. It really is just a slap in my face. I feel like I got played. I don't either. follow you. You sit here and said this man well, was fine. We can't be best friends and be after the same man. It's not gonna work. I love you both. I gotta do what I gotta do as a man. I'm a little nervous about elimination because my family wasn't able to come. Um, you know, he got a chance to bomb with the other girls' families and so, you know, that might hurt me a little bit. I don't care if Thing 2 is furious over me because she feels that I betrayed her. The point is, is I came here for Flav. I didn't come here to make friends. I'm definitely not surprised that Sincere called out Thing 2. She's desperate. Desperate people do desperate things. Sincere should be the one to go home because of the point that she got desperate because she was on a chopping block. Now she want to drag me into it because she's hating and mad because I'm a big threat to her. Oh, she needs to go because she's weak and she can't live on her own. Good evening, ladies. Good evening, Flay. I'm gonna let y'all know how hard this decision is on me right now. Because you four are the ones that are closest to me out of everybody that's been here. If anybody's the weakest link in here right now, it's me. And the reason why is because, sincerely, I do have feelings and I care about each one of your feelings. First of all, I want to say to you, Seasons, you're starting to feel more real to me now. And I want to see just how real it really is. So I'm going to give you a chance. Come get your clock. So 
the first club went to my girl Seasons because my mom's really dug her. And not only that, but I can see Seasons as being part of the family. You know what time it is. Yes, I do. I get the first clock, and I was very excited because I knew that I was going to France with Flav. I've got two clocks left, three bodies. I know how difficult that it is to be alone. Even though your parents was not able to be here, tell you the truth, I'm really feeling you right now. But Black, come get your clock. The second clock went to my girl Black. And there's nothing better than taking a hot girl like Black around internationally. So Black, would you accept this clock from Flavor Flav tonight? Of course I will. Black, mm -hmm. know what time it is. Thank you. I'm thinking about being with Flav and thinking about going to France. It's a lot to take right now, and I, I know we about to have a ball. One clock. Two bodies. The last clock comes down to sincere and thing two. Folks, what am I going to do? Who is this clock going to really go to? And thing two, I know you and Sincere is very close. We was. Sincere, you let me know that thing two wasn't really ready to stand on her own two feet. How she'll follow you around a little, you know what I'm saying? The whole nine. I don't have to tag on her tail, and that's a fact. I don't, I've never lied a day in my life, I don't have to lie to you. And I never lied either. It surprised me that Sincere really turned on me. i never seen this coming. There were people that was telling me in the house, but I just brushed it off and i never seen it coming. I don't either. follow you. Yeah. I don't follow okay, you. OK, Sincere. You sit here and said this man well, was lying. She's sitting here calling me all kinds of I told you, you know what? I still have Call respect for yeah. you that I'm not going to Yeah, yeah, I said because, you, because you're fake. And I'm, not fake. Back. I'm, yes, not fake. Fake. I'm not fake. I'm not fake. Before the day when you ask Do my honest her? opinion, before you ask my honest her? opinion, Do I who and, I who? and I don't follow you. And I don't follow you, see? I don't follow you. I don't follow you. And who's going to say, who's going to say, who's going to take her side? They are because they don't like me. You're the one who came in here with somebody else, not me. Yeah, I can't help that. And I walked in here. Well, good for you. Right, but it. who's the one who looks more dependent? You do, not me. Okay, are you serious? Ladies, ladies, check this out. I love you both, and I have made a decision. One of you must leave me tonight. It really is a slap in my face. I feel like I got played. I feel really dumb because it, the signs were there, but I never took heed to it. But I guess it's better late than never. Thing two getting in my face at elimination makes her look worse. This is all working out in my favor. It hurts to me that these girls ain't gonna be as tight as they was in the beginning, but you know what? I know love hurts, but we all do what we gotta do. I did not roll over on a friend. I told the truth and eventually it was gonna come to this. We can't be best friends and be after the same man. It's not gonna work. At this point, I'm really feeling Flav, and I would hate to just end it now. I would love to continue this journey with him. Boy, it was starting to get crazy in here, y'all, because Thing 2 and Sincere had really been friends, and now it was time to split them up. If you had to leave me, Sincere, would you still love me? I sure would. If you had to leave me, thing too, would you still love me? Yes. Is that a promise out of both of y'all? Thank you, swear. I love you both, and I have made a decision tonight. If Blaze sends me home after everything that I brought to his attention about thing two, I'll sneak back into his house and snip off his testicles in the middle of the night. Sincere, come get your clock.
think two was crying, and deep down in my heart, I was crying too. I didn't think that she really had the strength to go on with me. I know you love me, and I know you got my back no matter what. And I just hope from this moment on we can stay friends. It's definitely hard for me to open my heart. And I opened it up so big. You know, it hurts. It hurts. It sucks to lose a friend over this, but I get to go with Flav de France, and that's all that matters. I just hope it doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Ladies, come gather around your man. I was very surprised to see Flav eliminate Thing 2. She is the one that I thought would make it all the way to the end. So not only am I excited that I'm still in the running to win Flav's heart, I'm in the final three. I'm going to France with Flav. I'm excited. These damn sure don't intimidate me. If I was able to take out 14, I can damn sure take out two. So bring it on. So one time for your man, let me hear y'all say, Flavor Flav! Flavor Flav! Next time on Flavor of Love. I'm taking the final three girls to France. Bonjour. Flavor! <laughs> oh, baguettes, French fries, and French people. Excuse me, I'm going to accompany you in your chamber. Yes. Yeah, boy! Oh. And we're going to definitely learn some French culture here, folks. This is French cheese. I like cheese. You have the camembert, and I like eating cheese. It's very good. That ain't my kind of cheese. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, e. 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 Mm. It's time to learn French. I saw sparks and flashes. He's deep. She doesn't know what's going on. I'm here to take your place. Yeah, what the f was that? You sitting there trying to twist my no. words around as you are f desperate. Yeah. You're never so going to f wish for black. I don't like nobody dipping into my business. I'll see you later. No, wait, go, my crazy. I need you to take care of something for me right now, Rick. This is Flavor Flav. If y'all want to see some of the behind the scenes moments inside my mansion, check out flavoroflowworld.com. Check out the bomb. I think that might be too heavy for you. So stick with this one? I, I can like what about throw this? it. This is a little heavy. I think this is a little bit more up your alley. Yeah. That's more up your alley. My alley. Okay. <laughs> Aim for that middle arrow. Should I do the foot movement? Do you want no, to? No, here you go. Do you know how? <laughs> mm. oh, almost. I try to look now like listen, a pro. Check this out. No, I try. Now check this out. This is what you do. <laughs>